beautiful friends, embellished jeans are really hot for this fall. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your old pair of jeans into the statement jeans with beautiful embellishments. It's super easy to do and if I can do it, you definitely can too. I personally love online shopping and I'm always browsing my favorite stores such as Stella McCartney and I saw a beautiful pair of jeans with diamond embellishments and I absolutely fell in love with it. But then I saw the price tag and it's just about $1,000 and I don't really feel like paying that much money for a pair of jeans, especially when I think I can recreate a similar one. So what I did is I took a pair of old jeans that I had from Topshop that I, were, I was gonna donate this year and found some embellishments and decided to create a similar pair. So what you will need for this DIY project is an old pair of jeans. Don't give it away, don't throw it out, just use it. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need a good thread. Go for something that's very durable and sturdy. You're gonna need tape. And of course, you're also gonna need some embellishments. You can use an old necklace. If you have a statement necklace, maybe you had some shirt with embellishments, or you can just find some embellishments at a craft store or a bead store. Find the ones that have two holes in them so you can actually sew it onto the fabric. So let's begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just lay the jeans on a flat surface and I'm just gonna straighten them out, make sure there are no creases, just go with my hands over the jeans and make sure that everything is straight and smooth. The next step is I'm gonna take my diamonds, I'm gonna call them diamonds, of course, these are not real diamonds, and I'm gonna lay them out in the design that I will wanna sew them onto the jeans. So as you can see, I just put two and then one in the middle and then two and then one, and I go all the way down, but not all the way down. I leave a little bit of space in case I wanna roll the jeans up and wear them with booties, so I just wanna make sure I leave some space at the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is do the exact same thing on the other side of the jeans. And as you can see, I'm not touching the back of the jeans. They're, the back is gonna be plain. So I'm just gonna be sewing these diamonds on the front panels of the jeans. So the next step is very easy. All you have to do is grab a tape, scissors, and cut a small section of tape and tape it under each jewel. This way you will know exactly where to sew each one of your diamonds. So now you can remove the jewels. Just quickly remove all of them, we don't need them anymore. And you'll see a nice checkered design on your jeans. Now the next step is I'm gonna grab a thread and put it through the needle. Sometimes that's the hardest step of sewing. Okay, so once we've pulled it through the needle, just gonna cut the thread and just make a knot. I'm gonna take my first diamond, I'm gonna place it on the tape, and of course I'm gonna remove the tape first because uh, we don't want it to stay there. So just remove the tape, place the diamond where the tape was, and then I'm gonna take my needle and the thread, go under the jeans and start sewing. So I'm gonna put the needle through the jeans and then pull it through the hole. Then pull the thread. And again, my sewing skills are very, very basic. So like I said, if I can do this, you can do this too. This is very easy. Just take some patience and practice. All right, so then I'm gonna take the needle and pull it through the jeans again. I'm gonna do it once and then I have to do it one more time just to make sure that the thread and the diamond will be secure, especially if you put the jeans through the wash, you don't want it to unravel. All right, so just gonna do it one more time. And when you're done sewing the diamond twice on each side, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do in the back. So this is what it should look like in the back. What I'm gonna do is just take my scissors, cut the thread, and then I'm gonna take, this is just one of the ways to um, finish the stitching, is I'm gonna take the thread and I'm gonna double, triple knot it just to make sure it's safe and secure. Just make a knot and then just cut it with the scissors. All right, so the first one done. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing for every single spot that I marked. This will probably take me some time, probably at least an hour or two, and then once I'm done, I'll show you what I have. I find this experience very fun. Sewing is very calming and peaceful to me, so definitely give it a try. It's so much more fun and meaningful when you DIY a piece. It just makes it more personal. All 
right, so two hours later, I am finally done. Yay, I can't believe it. Um, they look great. I can't wait to put them on. Yay. So just for a fraction of price, I created a beautiful pair of embellished jeans that I'm definitely gonna be sporting this fall. The best way to style these jeans, because they're such a statement, is to wear it with something very simple on top. For example, what I'm wearing today is a very simple button-down dress shirt. <laughs> or maybe pair it with a simple sweatshirt. That could also be an awesome option. And then you can wear simple heels. You just wanna avoid wearing anything else that's very loud. I'd love to see a recreation, so when you DIY your own pair of jeans with embellishments, please make sure to hashtag it Mimi Icon or just tag me in the picture on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see your recreations. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.